everybody, Ann here, and sorry I didn't sit on my porch and have my coffee with all of you this morning because it's been a busy morning. Notice what's behind me? Well, a mess, that's for one. But the drywall, there is no drywall stacked up anywhere in this cabin. It's all gone. So, all I have to do is finish a little bit of insulation over here. I need to finish this wall and the front wall and then that's it and it feels good to have this drywall out of here I feel like I've got like four feet of extra space now <laughs> I'm very very happy and the drywall went to an awesome lady her name well I'm not gonna give her name all, I, all I'm gonna tell you is she's one amazing chick <laughs> she picked that drywall up and just basically tossed it in the back of her truck like it was nothing and I'm sitting here like oh <laughs> so she's awesome yeah, and she gets the the mud and all the other tools and everything and there's a very specific project that she needed this for so I was finally able to pay something forward and it feels so so good that finally I could do something for somebody else after so many people have been doing for me so that's awesome Today is Sunday. This video isn't going to come out until Monday. So on Sunday, I don't do any major work. Um, I think I'm just going to enjoy this day. So let's have a look around at my property. That's what I like to do on Sundays and see if there's anything new. Look at these bulbs. The leaves are starting to curl inward. Is it because it's not sunny or did I kill them? Please tell me that they're going to be okay. This one looks fine. I really, really hope they're going to be okay because from what I understand, these are going to be some pretty amazing flowers when they start blooming. So, oh, hopefully they're all right. Let's look over here. Nothing interesting going over here. This is the green pepper bucket. And that looks like it may be a green pepper. This is the carrot bucket. And check it out. Can you guys see? There are little carrots everywhere coming up. Little tiny fringy things. And I think that those are carrots because I'll show you the other place I planted carrots and they look exactly the same. Now this, remember the banana, uh, banana peppers and I thought this and that was a banana pepper. I actually think those are weeds um, because look at that that's coming up. Can you see that? God, it's so dark, it's hard for me to see if you can even see it. Um, this one, oops, I need to clean my fingernails. I've been digging in the dirt. This one, and then there's two in the center. I think those are actually banana peppers, and those other two are just weeds. Same with over here. These are the red cubanelles. I think that that is a weed, and that is a weed. I'm going to let them go for a little bit longer just to make sure that uh, they look like some of the weeds that grow around here. Okay, we've got some basil, 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 and it looks like finally I have a couple tomatoes coming up, hopefully, hopefully. Sorry about my dirty fingernails, but I've been digging, digging in the worm bin and whatnot. So, a couple tomatoes. Um, I didn't see any tomatoes in either one of these bummer but this is the jalapeno peppers and yeah these look like jalapeno peppers see they don't look like those little weed things that were sprouting so I'm pretty sure I got jalapenos all right let's get over to the other big bed I cannot tell you how happy I am looking at this bed look at all those cucumbers in all of the spots that I planted cucumbers there are things sprouting. Of course, I'll have to thin them out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven spots. So they are all sprouting. And in the middle, remember, I planted carrots. I thought that might be something, but I think that that is a weed. And if you can look real carefully, like right there, there's little carrots. Remember how I dug that trench all the way down the center? Well, there are little carrots. 
there's little carrots growing all the way in that trench. I know it's hard for you to see, you're just going to have to take my word for it. But the beans, I came out here today and people, there are beans. Now I'm not going to disturb the soil because I just want to let you know nature take its course. But I know there's a bean coming up there. I can see one coming out of the ground there. There's another, oh, yep, there's another one coming there and there. There's a couple rises in soil right here. I know another one's coming up here because the soil is starting to puff up. There's one coming up here, here. Basically, everywhere where I planted beans, they're coming up, and these are going to be big. Yep, so I've got beans coming up, people. Um, I don't know about here. I'm not seeing anything over here, but I'm confident that the beans are going to come up there, too. And then the lettuce. You know what? The, the leaves are starting to get a little bit bigger, so that's good. It's starting to warm up, although this morning it was darn cold. And the spinach is starting to do something, so that also makes me really, really happy. The two beds down here made it through the night filled with rain and whatnot. However, and I have kind of smoothed it out a little bit, I think that there was a small animal traipsing around in these beds last night. So, but that's okay. They got watered really well. I went through and picked out anything that looked like a seed. So hopefully nothing weird will start sprouting. And yesterday I went down and pulled a few more logs down and I'm gonna make a couple more beds. I'll work on those tomorrow. So I've got one over there and one more over here. I was gonna put them side by side, but then I remembered I've got sprawling plants on either side. So, um, I'm not going to be able to do that. I now have three security lights. I've got the one in front that Mr. Lucas gave me. And over here, I've got one that Art in California sent me. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep that there. I may end up putting it up there. Um, I could just reach that for now. Um, and I know that once things start growing, that's going to be covered up. So, But I just wanted to put it up there to see how it worked, and it works great. So I may end up raising it. Who knows? Um, and then I've got the second one that he sent over here in the back. Now, I could have put one on the other side, but uh, then I wouldn't have had anything back here. And it's really important to me that if somebody or whatever uh, is coming back here, for whatever reason, I want a security light to come on. So it will. Um, also, if I need to get out here in the middle of the night, I'm going to have that light that will come on. And then over here, I don't have one. If I tried to put one against the tiny house, it wouldn't really get much sun. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting one of those that just goes in the ground and putting it somewhere over here. Um, that way, it's going to get sun. And if someone is coming through this area, or a weird animal or whatever, um, the light will come on and shine towards the tiny house. So that's all awesome. I'm so, so happy I have those lights. You guys got no, no idea. Oh, and before I forget, yesterday FedEx delivered me something else and I want to show you what it is. Very, very cool. FedEx just came, you guys, and I can't believe it. I got something. I got something from Walmart. I have no idea what it is. I don't know who it came from, so I'm going to open it right now. I am the worst YouTuber ever. I was filming me tearing into the package. I was very careful to hold it still, and I had it between my legs, and I pulled it with the other hand, and in my excitement, I must have hit the off key or something, and so it didn't record. So this is what I got. Look, look, look. I got a hoodie. It fits perfect. And I won't have to worry about sitting out on my porch and it's actually kind of chilly right now. So I was going to go in and get that pink hoodie and the pink hoodie is just, it's toast. It's, it's, it's toast, seriously. So I've got me a nice new blue hoodie and also included was a black t-shirt. I don't have any black t-shirts. So this is going to go great with the rest of my t-shirts that I've got. And this hoodie is absolutely perfect. It is just, oh, and it's so warm. I have no idea who gave this to me. I have no idea. But whoever gave it to me, 
you get me. <laughs> you totally get me. Thank you so, so very much. Oh, yes. In fact, I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> I'm just going to try and pan around slowly a little bit so you can see behind me how green it is out there. It is just so pretty. It is just gorgeous. Um, this video is getting long enough already, so I'm not going to take you back into the back part of my property, but it is just getting prettier and prettier every day. I see new things sprouting up all over the place, and it's just gorgeous. Plenty of wild edibles and mushrooms, and it's just... I don't know. There's some people who might come out here and think, eh, no big deal. But to me, it is just like a wonderland of beauty. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.